they are upon us. We have, uh, you have the primaries in April, a little bit later on you have the campaigns around August. So it's the campaign year that I'm looking at. <laughs> so the 2021 election campaign has only one game changer and that is Robert Chagulanyi, the Chadondo East MP. Now he has been in parliament barely a year <laughs> since he was elected, but his influence in politics has been felt in Jinja. Bujiri and Arua municipality. But for those who observe politics more closely, it is, all, it is now known as the Bobby Wine effect. Before I bring in my analysts, let me show you this video and I shall return with them. From the political lenses to the economy, security and social life, 2018 has been an eventful year. The year saw the rise of the new people power movement that rose out of the discontent after Parliament, amended the Constitution and scrapped the 75-year presidential age limit. <laughs> the events of 13th August during the Arua Municipality by-election, when the People Power Leader and Chadono East MP Robert Chagulanyi, popularly known as Bobby Wayne, was arrested, gave rise to many other events that followed, such as the arrests, the resultant protests, hospital admissions and court trials. I want a free 2019 and having that I'll first of all go by what I've learned through Christmas to forgive my enemies to forgive those who tortured me governance expert and political analyst professor Gerard Karieja believes more pressure groups will emerge in 2019 and they will be stronger than political parties as vehicles of change People Power Movement has just been one of the vehicles that captures their imagination and seems to articulate their interests better than other political parties. So as long as the issues being raised are not tackled, Bobby Wine and others are just agents or champions of that phenomena. In the security circles, the long-serving Inspector General of Police General Kare Kaihura was relieved of his duties in March and replaced by his deputy, Martin Zokotho Chola. <laughs> Kaihura was later arrested and charged in the court martial for aiding and abetting the kidnap, repatriating Rwandan exiles and refugees to Rwanda between 2002 and 2016, and the failure to protect war materials. This cleanup of the police also saw the arrest of Abdallah Kitata, the patron of the notorious Boda Boda 2010. <laughs> As was the case in 2017, where at least 23 women were murdered in Entebbe and other parts of Wakiso district. More mysterious killings were recorded in 2018. On 8th June, a known silence ended the life of a Roman municipality MP Ibrahim Abiriga at Kawanda, Wakiso district. And so I miss both a comrade in Allah, I miss a friend as a soldier. And I believe many of you and indeed the country miss a friend, a jovial friend at that. <laughs> Three months later in September, former Wienda District Police Commander Mohamed Chirumira was brutally killed in a similar manner near his home in Bulenga, Wakiso District. <laughs> These incidents coupled with kidnaps and murder for ransom, including that of youthful Susan Magala, who was kept for three weeks and later murdered, undermined the country's security. Whoever was behind it demonstrated that the strength of NRM, which has been peace and security, was being uh, undermined or was being uh, downplayed. So the extent to which we see these murders not man come up again, similar murders come up again in 2019, will demonstrate whether the center is holding or not. And that also goes back to the question of legitimacy of both the NRM and also the state as Uganda. Like I mentioned earlier, 2020 is that year when we will ha be having rigorous uh, election campaigns. 2021, not so much. We will only be voting in that regard. So this is the election year, 2020. And the Bobby Wine effect is upon us. We shall be bantering up on this and a lot more with Odonga Oto, Aru County MP. Also have a political analyst, Sara Birete, and Mr. Nsubuga, who is also an NRM leading lawyer. We are also having this banter before us right here. Let me start with you, Mr. Odonga Oto.
Do you think Chagulani Robert has what it takes to trounce Mr. Museveni come 2021? Based on what you see, the dynamics that you see right now, do you think he has what it takes? I was for a joint campaign with Bobby Wine mm. in West Nile. Mm. And I was in an open roof with him. A procession of two hours. Mm. I have never seen such kind of zeal among the youth. I've never seen anything like this in my 19 years. Mm -hmm. uh, those young people coming, the Rastas, Bonga, mm. someone is chewing my lung and say, mm -hmm. Bonga. Mm -hmm. And I had so many youth say, just get to the ballot papers mm -hmm. and leave the rest to us. Mm -hmm. Then I overheard also from uh, Honorable Emmanuel Dombo that in the East, all the Kadei Day, all the Bayais have mm -hmm. self appointed themselves. Mm -hmm to be Bobby Wine campaign manager. Mm -hmm. So as the writing on the wall is, uh, the strongest opposition figure mm -hmm. now in Ugandan politics, albeit his limitations, which mm -hmm. we all have enough, mm -hmm. is Bobby Wine. We're going to be heading uh, live to Gayaza, where he was yes. set to launch his very, very first consultation drive. We're getting reports that police have surrounded the area, but then go ahead. Yes, it is it's Bobby Wine. Mm -hmm. He has successfully aged Besseje out. Uh, Muntu has disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh, Mao is nowhere to be seen. What makes him a powerful force? I think there, is a, there are two reasons. One is a generational. Mm -hmm. Two, we have the malcoated sedentaries. Mm -hmm. uh, the youth who, who seem to be seeing that they have nowhere to go, their time is up, mm -hmm. they have nothing to lose mm -hmm. but everything to gain. Mm -hmm from Bobby Wine's uh, participation. Mm -hmm. Now, that is how the situation is on mm -hmm. the ground. I called, I had a meeting, a one-to-one -one meeting with mm -hmm. Bobby Wine in my office. Mm -hmm. I locked the door. Mm -hmm. I switched off both of his phones. I wanted to know what is in his mind. In, 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 in his mind. I think he's, he's not ready uh, to be president. In all honesty, he's not ready. Yeah, yeah. We, we talked uh, mm -hmm. monetary policy, fiscal mm -hmm. policy, uh, whether he would go left, Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah. I ask him, like, for example, mm -hmm. what would you do about uh, pharmaceutical industries? Mm -hmm. Personally, if I were the president, mm -hmm. I would uh, close private pharmacies, mm -hmm. pay all doctors 20 million shillings, mm -hmm. and make the government hospitals viable. Mm -hmm. Government cannot compete with private. Mm -hmm. he, he, he cannot even see. Mm -hmm. He cannot see either side. He was only telling me uh, mobile money tax. Mm -hmm. I said mobile money tax. The OTT would raise 32 billion shillings. That 32 billion, we are using it to pay the elders mm -hmm. in the districts. Doesn't it make sense? So it does not click. It does not make sense to him, all these things. Eh? He's, he's, a, he's a complete amateur. Uh, and it is a very risky business. It is a very risky business for anyone mm. uh, to think Bobby Wine can be president. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, he's very popular. He's everywhere on the ground. So if I place the barometer... Uh, uh, on the ground. Uh, what do I predict in 2021? Mm -hmm. That was your question. Mm -hmm. uh, President Museveni will reach elections. <laughs> Massively. Do you have any evidence to this, Mr. Odongo? Reaching is not... like a very is, colors uh, uh, accusation. No, you, you see, like in my village, all the RDCs, all the DISOs, mm -hmm. all the GISOs mm -hmm. have turned out to be campaign mobilizers. That's already reaching. Wow. People think reaching is the actual tiki. Mm -hmm. You get it? So I, 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 I see many people may not be comfortable, but uh, you, you please feel free to go and hang. Mm. But I see President Museveni being declared the winner mm -hmm. of the next election. Okay. I, don't, I see him being declared the winner. I'm not saying I see him winning. I see him being declared the winner. Mm. The status quo uh, will continue. Bobby Wine will put a very stiff resistance. He seemed to have, to have not learned any lesson from Besige. He's doing the same things Besige did. So it, it's, it's not a nice thing, but it, it needs well, to be encouraged. Thank you very much, Mr. Odongo. So you've exhausted your opinion in that regard. Sada Bireta, let me try to engage you on this one. Mr. Bobby Wine is actually being fronted by many Ugandans, especially those below the age of 35, that yes, he is the next president. And they make up 73% of the population. So you feel like there's a big margin that might vote for this young man. But then, like Odongo told, did mention, that the dynamics might be different come 2021 and he might lose. What is your own assessment? 
Uganda has a largely young population mm. of 80 percent aged 30 years and below. Mm. We are going to have about 8.5 million voters between 18 and mm. 30. Mm -hmm. We know there are challenges of youth who are being disfranchised mm -hmm. through the the vote update register and 1.1 mm -hmm. million mm -hmm. are likely to miss on the register because of mm -hmm. the update and the roadmap by the Electoral Commission. Mm -hmm. And we hope that the Electoral Commission will rectify that. Mm -hmm. Because at Kowan under sovereignty of the people, mm -hmm. people are supreme mm -hmm. and people have a right to choose their leaders and the constitution mandates that anybody 18 and above at the time of elections should participate in choosing their leaders. Mm -hmm. And we hope Electoral Commission will not differentiate citizens in mm -hmm. that regard. Having said that, the Bob Wine effect. Of course, Bob Wine, the, the, the few things he speaks about resonate with the people's needs. Mm. The, the time of uh, mm. Basari Raba elections, mm. he made one statement that I think it has been spinning the heads mm -hmm. of regime, regime strategists. Mm -hmm. He stated that he used to be part of the ghetto and, 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 and ordinary people, but he has come to parliament mm. and he has seen how the elite mm. are busy doing their own things and mm. they, do, they are not concerned about mm. the welfare of the people. Mm. So if you have somebody that can connect such a message, mm -hmm. say we are here, we are common people, mm -hmm. and that's something you cannot take out from Bobo Wine. Mm -hmm. He has been in the ghetto, he has lived that mm -hmm. lifestyle, he knows what it means to be there. Mm -hmm. Now he has come to parliament, he has seen what the elite are engaged with. 80% mm -hmm. of the business that my friend Odongo To and colleagues do mm -hmm. really have nothing to do with improving the lives of the common person. Who mm -hmm. said that? Wow. Uh, so if, yes, uh, no, but uh, that was his message in, in, in Busia. Mm -hmm. But if you even look at the reality, 80% mm -hmm. of parliament business, mm -hmm. does it improve the welfare of the ordinary person? Does it improve service delivered in this country? Mm -hmm. Does it take care of and the medicine to the people. Mm. No, you go to Morago. So Morago has been fully privatized. Ma Madame Beretta, Morago. No, 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 those, you will get those, your time. Those health centers. Uh, uh, get those health Minnesota. centers. You will get those your time. Is primary Honorable, schools. can I I'll be get back to you, Miss Otto? No, yes. no, 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 no. Can I be protected? Beretta, go ahead. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> if you go to Morago Hospital today, yes. Morago Hospital has been fully yes. privatized. Mm. Specialized hospital. If you look at the context of what a national referral hospital should be, mm. true. You have Chirudu, now you go to Kawempe, and the services mm -hmm. there are really mm -hmm. appalling. Mm -hmm. When you come to where the services are, the women's hospital, the mm -hmm. specialized hospital that is being refurbished, mm -hmm. it's not for the common man. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, international ho hospital in Kampala or, or Kororo hospital. Mm -hmm. So what happens to the common person? Mm -hmm. Where will they get services? Mm -hmm. What is the role of government in mm -hmm. the lives of the ordinary people? Mm -hmm. So in your own assessment, Mrs. Birete, so in your own assessment, you believe that uh, even though Mr. Bobby Wine is not that ready to enter this political uh, sphere. But how do we get readiness? Is, yes. How do we get readiness? If somebody is a president. He might not be ready, but he knows the problem. No, no, no. Let me say this. Mm. If you are a president, are you going to work alone? Mm. Are we running? Are we still ra running mm. under the big man oh, syndrome okay. in Africa? Can't you employ experts? Let's now head over to Gayaza. We have our reporter, Stephen Mbide. He's right there. He is Actually, in Gayaza right there, uh, police surrounded the area where Bobby Wine was actually trying to launch his consultations right there. He will be using those consultations as an avenue to talk to the people in the country and uh, to find out whether they actually given the mandate to run the pres for the presidency come 2021. Teko, do we have Mbide ready for this uh, for this broadcast. Good morning, Romeo. Yes, indeed, Stephen Mbide on the ground here, coming to you live from Our Lady of Good Council, Gayaza. The playgrounds here in Gayaza, where at least it's going, seemingly going to be a very hard day for the people, power supporters, and the residents of this area, as well as the Uganda police. Because right now, as early as 7 a.m., I was coming from the rest of the Gayaza Road, coming through the Kasanga Trading Center, where police has already mounted uh, two roadblocks uh, for the people coming from the direction of the city. And that was a good sign for us, for us to know that, yes, it's going to be a really, really a tough time down here in 
Gayanza, where uh, people power, uh, the leaders led by His Excellency, for the, those who call him His Excellency in the Ghetto Republic, uh, that is Bobby Wine, but his real names, uh, Robert Chagrin, Saint Am, the Chadon East Honorable Member of Parliament, has organized with his people's, people power supporters here a consultation meeting. But police insists, and already they are on ground here, saying that this meeting is out of order, according to police, that some directions and uh, the regulations that uh, guide a meeting that is under Public Order Management Act were not met as per the law. And they are already, uh, the, set, the stage was already being set up by these uh, gentlemen here. And police kept, swung into action and told them to uh, immediately pull the stage down where they were going to have uh, the machines, the sound equipment for the rest of the rally, uh, the, the, the meeting, consultation meeting as per people power movement was supposed to be, it was, they said it was going to be a consult consultation meeting for his agenda of cons contesting for presidency this year because of course we know that consult nominations will be happening this year and then the election will be happening next year. But our police w came into force here and told them to put these machines down that there, is, there will not be any meeting as as, as planned by uh, Bobby Wine, uh, Robert Chagulani and his members here. And I saw the mayor of this place, uh, that is Tony Sempewa, uh, came into this place and told, uh, tried to try to negotiate with the officers uh, that uh, led this operation, that is uh, Fandaguma, but they say that they had a meeting yesterday that they insisted that this meeting will not be uh, taking place because, according to police, that some... Uh, guidelines were not made, like for example, uh, at least the place was, was secured, but police never allowed them to go ahead with this meeting. I can see some of the people power supporters who had already come in this place to make sure that they uh, make sure they organize whatever was supposed to be taking place. Bano, we were Mukuba and two Abogizi, our people power, but they were so say, okay, I want to go to the club and take a 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 take uh, uh, there is uh, this. Uh, let me also try to see what the police is trying to tell these people uh, who were organizing this meeting here. Uh, Afande, why is this meeting not taking place? Yes, I'm not going to answer everybody. I have already answered that once. You just get that one from them. Get here and then go. Afande, why aren't you allowing the people, people power supporters, to go ahead with their meeting? So, uh, Mayor Tony Sempewa, uh, why, why are they refusing you to go ahead with your meeting? I don't know. I don't know what, what, what are they saying. Because they have just told us to move the things and now they are taking, it, they are taking, they are taking them away. Yeah. We are just worried of Uganda now. Because but about the law, we are supposed to build something here. But we cannot, build, we cannot go ahead. Police says that you had a meeting yesterday and you agreed that this meeting should not go ahead. No, we did agree. We are supposed to, to make development here to, make, to do what the law says. But they have refused. Now, what can we what can we go ahead now? So, what is the next course of action for now? We are we are going to stay here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The people power supporters are saying that they are insisting that there will be a staging here. Whatever uh, whatever happens, they will be here. But the police, of course, is also standing on guard to make sure that they don't go ahead with this consultation meeting that was organized by Honorable Robert Chagulani, the one who is intending to contest for presidency. According to the Presidential Elections Act 2005, it uh, gives him authority to notify the electoral commission to go ahead with a consultation with the people if he intends to contest in the upcoming elections. This is what's happening on the ground with me, Stephen Mbidon, Fefe Suwakumacha, Nakedek Fefe Ta, Abantu Beno, Gayaza, Wadewa Inokuba, Uchiko. Ngena Kuzza Imo Studios, Ate Mbenga, Tugena Maso, Ne Program Zendala. This is Morning at NTV. Thank you very much, Stephen Bide. He's reporting live from Gayaza, where Bobby Wine was set to hold his very first consultative meeting, but it was blocked by the police right there who actually said that it wasn't meant to hold that consultative meeting in an open place. It might, it should have been a closed-door consultation meeting in that regard. That's according to the police right there. But I still have Sada Bilete, a political analyst, and Dora. Uh, I also have uh, Aru County MP, Odonga Oto. I also have Mr. Subuga, an NRM-leaning political journalist. Uh, analyst right here. Mr. Mm. Zubuga, yes, please. you're still with us. You mm. wanted to say something about uh, yes, uh, in relation uh, to what uh, they said on Bobby Wine uh, being unable. Yes. You know you people in the press use some words mm -hmm. 
uh, either intentionally or unintentionally, but uh, with some intended message. Mm -hmm. When you say the game changer, mm -hmm. uh, the X effect, mm -hmm. uh, of course, try to ignite some kind of debate. It's really a game changer. This uh, is a, a civilian I want running to, up I against want to forget the general. It from me. Yes. And uh, I'll come back here mm. after 2021. 20, True. And I'll tell you that this is what I told you. Mm. There is nothing new mm. that uh, Honorable Chagula is bringing to this presidential race. Mm -hmm. uh, it is understandable that there is a generational issue. Mm -hmm. But it is uh, very wrong for you to assume that every 35 year old mm -hmm. supports Honorable Chagula. Mm -hmm. I'm 35 myself. I support President Museveni. Mm -hmm. And behind me, there are very many million <laughs> Ugandans of my age that mm -hmm. support President Museveni. Mm -hmm. So that's the wrong assumption. And you'll be shocked at the ballot paper. Two, when somebody comes and is new and you say he's a game changer, we look at his team. Mm -hmm. Because I was expecting uh, Honorable Chagulanji to come. If NRM has about 300 and so MPs, I see 100 NRM MPs behind him having crossed over. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to recycle, the same same Jews, the, 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 the same people who have been not voting seven. Because look at his mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. Apart from a few four or three NRM MPs that have gone to his side, all of the others have been coming from FDC, they are coming from DP. So these are people who have not been voting seven all along. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing new. It is just changing from blue mm -hmm. to red or from green to red. Mm -hmm. Take it from me. You are the seven. the NRM flag bearer, is going to win this election by about 65%. Mm -hmm. And actually, for us in NRM, we are not worried about Honorable Chagulanyi. No, 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 no. Our, our worry is uh, the FDC presidential candidate, because he's a seasoned politician. Who? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who? Amorias? No. The presidential candidate. <laughs> have oh, they, have they chosen one? Uh, of course, <laughs> we, we, we all know here. They haven't chosen We all know here, Kanovesi will come back <laughs> as the FDC presidential candidate. But take it from me. We are more worried about him because but he's, you've he's, him already he's more seasoned. Of times. Well, how, how are you afraid of someone? Because at least he got, 35, he got 35 percent the other time. Mm. Our predictions for Honorable Chagulani is about mm. five percent. So, so then, why, why block his rallies so, if you are not worried about yeah. it? Uh, why block his concert? But of course, right? Bobby Wine is mm. good to the NRM. Why? Because it's a reality check. You know, when he comes up with his message, uh, with, with, with the youth uh, enthusiasm, it helps us as NRM to check ourselves. That's the game changer. What mm -hmm. is that's the game changer. Like? Internally, internally, to start listening to some things we are not mm -hmm. listening to. Mm -hmm. So it is good that NRM is paying attention. Mm -hmm. It is good that uh, we are now uh, we are going to our delegates uh, uh, conference, so we are, we, are, we are starting our roadmap. But we are not worried that uh, there is anything that's going to happen. I, I'm, 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 I'm even very happy that an opposition figure... But here's figure, one thing... Ho hold yeah. on, hold on. Go a senior Go opposition ahead. figure mm -hmm. has come out and said President Museveni is going to be declared a winner. Mm -hmm. That has made me very happy this because morning. Because of the rigging. And yes. actually it's going to make my week. Mm -hmm. You see, rigging is a that song. Is, that is mm -hmm. how hold your on, week hold is on. made. Hold on. <laughs> rigging is a song that mm -hmm. has been sung for all along. But I want to ask him one question. He sits in parliament. Mm -hmm. FDC has how many members of parliament? About 30. About 30. One. DP has how many? 11. About 11. Uh, Gemma has one. one. NRM has how many? About 350. About 350 MPs. These MPs mm -hmm. are voted on the same day mm -hmm. with the president. So these people who are singing the song of rigging want Ugandans to believe mm -hmm. that somebody goes and votes the key, that is FDC, for president. Mm -hmm. Then comes on the ballot paper of M MP and votes the bus. Because rigging is done at the same time. Uh, hold on, yes. hold on. For that, that is inconceivable. You, can, on, you cannot have 30 MPs mm. in an election that was organized the same day when your elections was organized. And the other person has 350. Mm -hmm. And you said they was rigging. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's forget what she's saying. Okay. He's saying that election is held at the same day. Let's go to LC5 chairpersons. We have how many districts? Like 120. Like 120. Like 120. 122. Or plus. Opposition jointly in Uganda has how many LC5 chairpersons? About 20. They are not even 20. They are like 15. Mm -hmm. Listen, oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. So these elections are on different dates. But even LC5 chairpersons, NRM has about 90%. Mm -hmm. Come to cancel us. So mm -hmm. what opposition needs to do? Let me just interject. They need on, to. On just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. They need to start to stop singing the song of Oyarigi. Let them go to the masses mm -hmm. and have their message clear. Mm -hmm. For example, she was saying there are no hospitals, the Wanaichi are not helped. Mm -hmm. This man will give us statistics here. Mm -hmm. This NRM government, how many health center tools at parish level have been set up in this country? 
under the NRM government. How many heritage centers freeze? So we, 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 are we are wrapping up, we are wrapping so up the show. So as I finish, as I, we conclude on this yes. thing, mm. uh, me I have respect for Honorable Chagulani. He's a young man like me. He has, he has shown a lot of guts. Uh, we wish him well. Mm -hmm. Actually, me, if I was talking to him, I would tell him to go back to his seat mm -hmm. of Chadondo because people of Chadondo need him more. Mm -hmm. He has just been there for two years. He mm -hmm. needs to show them that, really, mm -hmm. you gave me your mandate. I need to represent you. And he repays them back mm -hmm. for the faith they put in him. Yeah. So, but this journey for president and what have you, mm -hmm. uh, I think is going to be fruitless. I think president is going to win. Uh, finally, this issue of uh, stopping him from Gaza, you, you yourself you have mm -hmm. said. I witnessed FDC conduct their consultative meeting in, 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 in a hall. I saw DP. So I'm wondering the political gymnastics mm -hmm. that are being played that somebody mm -hmm. wants to go to a, a, a field probably to make a show and mm -hmm. see. Okay, we are wrapping up. I would like to give uh, Oto and uh, Sara Birete one minute each so that we wrap up. Oh, don't go Oto. Uh, some opposition uh, people claim that uh, the fact that uh, the executive has the appointing authority of the EC chairperson is not fair. And number two, you tell us what you think about that. And number two, do you think the constitutional amendments that are being fronted by Indora East MP Winfred Nwagaba will actually offer a level platform to help the opposition uh, fight their good fight in 2021 to trans uh, President Museveni? I think there is uh, so much presidentialism. The Constitution has given the president mm -hmm. so much powers, except to change the man into a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that Constitution needs to be properly di mm -hmm. dissected. Mm -hmm. Arsenal is playing Man U. Mm -hmm. The Arsenal uh, coach appoints the referee. It determines the size of the goal. So post. it's not fair for the president it, to appoint it, the EC chairperson? It's not fair. It defeats the okay. actual purpose mm -hmm. of an election. The EC okay. chairperson should have been... There is a, a law that should have been a justice of peace. Mm -hmm. And the constitutional amendment? Yeah, okay, is, we've got an answer. And the constitutional amendment? The constitutional amendment mm -hmm. is coming before parliament, mm -hmm. but that constitutional amendment is like asking the monkeys whether all the trees mm -hmm. should be cut. This parliament is charged. Mm -hmm. This parliament is expired. Actually, if and we're in Europe, the we the should have called for early, early elections. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't see it passing. Let's, let's leave it at that. Sarah Birete, as we wrap up, what do you think? Is it fair that the EC chairperson is appointed by Museveni? And number two, the constitutional amendments that were fronted by Winfred Nwagama, do you think they will offer the levered platform for these opposition loyalists to transform Museveni? The appointment of most heads of government agencies mm -hmm. are entrusted under the president with the, appro the approval of parliament. Mm -hmm. What would of be the course, that's what, is, what has caused the death, of, what we call mm -hmm. death of institutions in mm -hmm. this country. Mm -hmm. Institutions are dead, whether you like it or not. Uh, we have a, a little leeway in courts with a few judges that can assert their powers and uh, judicial powers enshrined in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Most of the judges are even openly called Kada judges. If that was done in a developed country, it, it would call for even arrest. How do you call judges that are supposed to work independently under the doctrine of separation of powers? Cadres of a political party or a regime. So we have cadres in the electoral commission, we have cadres in courts, we have cadres everywhere. To expect a different election from 2016, really you have mm. to be a confirmed dreamer in this country. <laughs> we expect more of the same. Of the mm. same. President Seven mm. will not win, mm. but he will rig. And thank you, thank you very Supreme much, Court. Sarah Birete. I also have Mr. Subuga right here, an NRM leaning political analyst. I also have Aru County MP Odongo Oto. And the conversation was centered around the forthcoming 2021 general elections, but we are not talking about 2021. We are talking about 2020 because this is the election year. We have the primaries in April, we have the campaigns in August. So this is the year we shall be monitoring in terms of politics and campaigning. My name is Romy Busikulis. Take another short break. We'll be right back with our Tech Note conversation. Keep it here.